Now, the Udara Basic School in Kumase has been handed a modern science laboratory after developing an illuminated child road safety device. Six girls from the school won the ultimate prize at the maiden edition of the Ghana Science and Tech Explorer Prize, the G-Step Challenge. The learning facility would have whipped up the interest of students in science, technology, engineering and mathematics at the Fort Garrison Educational Centre. There's more in this report. After throwing the judges and audience into a rousing ovation with their innovation, the Junior Six of Udara Basic School has paved the way for students at their school to access science learning materials. As part of their winning prize, the school received a well-established STEM laboratory from G-STEP Consortium with funding from Foundation Botner. The facility is equipped with scientific apparatus, microscopes, 3D printing machine, laptop and desktop computers, and other learning and teaching aids. Founder of G-STEP, Constance Ajiman, is optimistic of a practical STEM learning and teaching experience. Having this equipment in the school means that the teachers have a lot more resource to be able to support their students. And the students are able to get much more practical hands-on learning. So rather than just learning about it theoretically, they are now able to actually touch the equipment, test the equipment, do the experiments, and that teaches them in a much more different way. But the teachers can also now show them directly what is going on. So it supports the teachers to teach more effectively, and they want that opportunity. The illuminated child road safety device developed by the all-female group is a solar-powered device that aids school children to cross busy inner-city roads. The user-friendly device can be used by students at the basic schools in the absence of the human aid when crossing highways. Elated by the feat, Prisla Osaitutu says the group is hoping to enhance features on the device and eventually commercialize it. Basically, the whole device is powered by a solar panel and attached to that we have uh, aluminium, an aluminium frame and attached to that we have the rocket light device which is mainly the ICRSD which will be detached from the panel then will be used to cross the road. So from here, we are still researching and hoping to modify some parts of the device and that we will see to it that the whole device is produced in a mass quantity. For Garrison Education Officer Lieutenant Colonel ZBV Akati says the school is anticipating collaboration with the Education Ministry to train more science facilitators at the school. Actually, this facility will go a long way to promote STEM learning and teaching in four garrison schools. We intend to collaborate with the regional office so that some of the teachers who teach science will be trained to help other students here to improve on their science teaching and learning. It should not be limited to the uh, Udara Basic alone. All schools under four garrison education center will benefit from this facility. The G -step challenge aims at encouraging and supporting junior high school students as well as teachers to acquire practical skills relevant for providing societal solutions. For Joy News, my name is Emmanuel Brightsquake.